hi. So today's vlog is all about how to sort of create an Alamy light box um, and sort of some handy hints and tips on to make the most of the Alamy light box as well. Um, in order to do this, you are going to have to be registered with us. So what you're going to need to do now before we go any further, if you're not registered, press pause on this vlog, go off, register with us. You can do that on the home page. Just you'll find a handy little, little button at the top of the page. Pop in your details there. Once you've done it, press play on this vlog and we'll be able to sort of show you how to create that light bulb. If you already are registered, don't do any of that. Just keep watching. Okay, great. So first of all, um, you can create a light box with us um, sort of one of two ways. Um, you've got sort of little little hints and shortcuts. Um, I'm going to show you the first way um, first, which is basically if we go to our homepage. Um, here it is. It is here. So under my Alamy light box. Now the second way I can sort of show you whilst we're searching for the images to put in the light box, um, which is really cool. Okay, so this is the home page of sorts for the Alamy light boxes. Um, as you can see, at the moment it's empty because I haven't created any light boxes at the moment. Um, let's create one now. So all we need to do, add light box, uh, Rosie Vlogs. Yes, she does. Rosie Vlogs. Um, sorry, that not remind me. Now, that's the name of the light box. Project Vlogging Client. YouTube uh, notes. So um, this is for the blog. Hello. There you go. So basically a general sort of will put you together um, so you can distinguish between multiple light boxes. Okay, so there we go. Now vlog is empty at the moment. There it is. Let's add some images to it. So if we go to the home sort of home page, yeah, let's start from the home page. Um, let's do a search there. I am going to search for, let's go, Pokemon cards, just because I've seen it. Okay, so these are all the images related to Pokemon cards. Pretty epic. Now, remember I said there were two ways to create a light box. Obviously, I showed you the first way by going up to the uh, My Alamy bit and clicking on the light box there. Now, the second way is really, really cool. Before you even click on an image to take you through to where you see the prices and everything like that. You'll obviously see the images appearing here in the general search page. Now, a lot of people obviously search like this to begin with because it allows you just to flick through multiple images at the same time, just give them a quick scan. Um, if you see an image that you like and you just want to quickly pop it into your light box, um, you can do it as such. You can then easily go, you've got here four little handy tabs. So the first one obviously is here, more by this photographer, calculate price, add to shopping cart, and then finally the one that we want, add to light box. So if we go add to light box there, can you see at the bottom here, you can see just there, our light box has appeared and it's showing me that I've got one image. If you've got multiple light boxes, don't you panic, you can easily switch between them there. We're going to stick with Rosie's vlog at the moment. Um, if you want to sort of expand the light box so you can see how many images that you're adding at any one time, you can see that there. Obviously at the moment we've only got one. Um, so what's really cool is if you decide I don't want this image in my light box, get it out. Just press the X there and it's gone forever and light box is now empty again. So let's add this one back in. So again, press this button. It's now in here. I can see that. Expand. There you go. It's all in there. What's really cool as well, if you need to go back to your light box for anything, just click view. And you can see the image is there, and you can see obviously the light box as well is there. So let's go back. Let's add a couple of more images. So we've got the guys looking, let's add them there again. So really, really quick and easy. You can just flick through and go, oh, brilliant, right? Guy's really happy with his Pokemon cards, pop those in there. Uh, Pokemon Monopoly, pop that in there. So can you see how easy it is to go through? You can literally, you've got all your images there lined up for you. You just go bish bash bosh, and it's all in. It's fantastic. It's really good. Let's add one more image um, because there is another way that you can add images to your light box. Um, if we go actually through to the main uh, sort of the main page with the image solely on its own, obviously the prices are at the side there. Um, what we're focusing on here is this bit here. Now, obviously, if you want to create, if you want to save, I should say, the low res, you save preview image there. Um, if you want to add it straight to your cart, straight there. We want to go to our light box and we want to go just there. So it's added it straight to the light box just there. Okay, um, so if we go back there, let's 
and we click onto the search again. Okay, you can see that there. So I've now got five images. Let's expand the light box and I can see the one there. There it is, right there. That's the one I added straight from the um, sort of the pricing page, which is really cool. Now, let's go to our light box because I want to show you how to sort of organize it into different sort of into different orders. Um, reason I'm doing this is um, because obviously you might have sort of, you might want to create the story within the light box and then all your client needs to do is just flick through each image. Um, and also again, personal reference is really cool. Um, so first of all, if we're creating um, a story, let's click here. This one is awesome. So you add a comment. So I'm going to add a comment just to the first image that I clicked on there. Um, so show this first. Uh, okay, I'm just going to make sure that is spelt correctly. Okay, and press save. So you show this first. Fantastic. So we know this then is obviously needs to stay here, but say that we wanted to move another one up in the ranking. So for example, this one, we can go there. That will then go first. Okay. Um, so my advice before you start writing your notes is to obviously order the images first, then write your notes on it. Okay. Um, so this, for example, main pitch. Awesome. Save. Now, so in order to um, sort of arrange them in the light box, obviously the two arrows will help you with that. Um, if you want to remove it from the light box, again, click the bin, remove image from light box, and you're good to go. If you want to add the images to your shopping cart, add image to cart, and then a handy little one here, again, calculate price, and that will just take you straight away to select the license that you need. Okay. Um, before I show you how to add the images to your shopping cart, I just want to show you how to share the light box with your client because that's also a really cool, um, really cool option. So we go all the way up to the top and we go here, share. We're not going to share these three, we're going to share Rosie's blog. So let's enter an email address, let's send it to the sales at, at alami.com email. Let's uh, make sure that's lowercase, good. Um, this is for the blog. Say hello, you're on camera. Awesome. Now, if you need a record of this for um, for your own sort of um, sort of timesheets or for your own personal records, um, you can always click there and it says send me this email as well. So not only will your client receive it, you will also receive it, which is really cool. Um, we won't take that because I don't need this. Um, so, and then we, all we have to do is press send. And then it'll send you another one just to go, okay, are you sure you want to do this? Yep, good. Right. So now the customer service team have got my light box full completely of Pokemon cards, which they are guaranteed to love because they all love Pokemon, which is awesome. The client's seen the light box. They've, they've sent you an email back saying that's really, really great. Um, I'll take all the images. Best scenario ever. Let's go back to the light box. You can just add the images to your shopping cart there. And there. I'm not forgetting this one. Scroll back up, okay, and you can see the images are there. So all you need to do then is sort out which license that you're having. So we're going to go straight through, click the website, add that to cart, okay, and it takes me back straight away, okay. And then you can just go straight through. You can purchase the license, um, or alternatively, you can just go back and add some more images to the light box. And um, that is it. Um, that's the light box in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions, usual links will appear after my face has disappeared and underneath, obviously, in the comments box. Any questions, give us a shout on the, um, on the customer service team. Um, and that's it. See you later.